You guys oh, fuck, 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 Battlefield what? 4? Yeah, yeah, it's Battlefield 4. Oh, hey, it's Siege of Shanghai. The classic. You know, the, in a weird way, I kind of missed the balance that Siege of Shanghai had back in the beta. Hey, what balance did it have in the beta? Uh, because everyone didn't have all the alternate unlocks, like, everyone had something that could hurt vehicles. Uh, and mm. the RPG could lock on. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's so true. Yeah, he's fucking right. Yeah. I don't even remember that. You can lock on vehicles and then. Like, okay, boom. Tigo, are you in? Oh, yeah, okay, we're on the same team. Yeah. I just got a team set up to get on your squad. Uh, good luck with your match, boy. Sure. Okay, join your squad, Tigo. We. Okay, we are in Echo Squad. Yeah, I see you there. Ready up. <laughs> uh, okay, what's our plan, I guess? Well, I guess we see what vehicles are around first. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we'll just push the for now. Yeah, back in the beta, everyone had something that could do at least a little damage to vehicles, even the ammo guy who had the air burst, I think? Or was it the salt who had air yeah, burst? Yeah, the air burst. It's like, it's, but still, it's like, it's, whoa, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm just stripping again. Dude! Like 10, dude! Air burst. Yeah, That's assault. like the, the sixth kill in 10 seconds. Assault had the GL, uh, support had air burst, engineer had the RPG, huh? naturally. I mean, in, in Battlefield 3, the, in the consoles, there was the problem. Explosions, which just ripped into your FPS. What yeah, did they do in Battlefield 4? More explosions! Wait, are you talking about on PS3 360 or on the PS4 yeah, uh, or as, Xbox? as well. The PS4 and Xbox One, it was bad Really? Well. It, so it, it could maintain 60? Okay, did I'm gonna go spawn in the chopper in the first place? and... And bail out? Okay, what, what key was bail out? Okay, E was bail out. It's yeah. a long time here, it's oh, like... Doing? It's like okay, let's go run to A. I actually play the console. What a dick. Why would he dump the point uh, out of that? Okay, T, go, I'm coming to A. Trouble. I probably gotta turn the volume in this game. If you don't know the guy who's stealing the helicopter... Oh god, T, go stand. If you don't know the guy who's stealing the helicopter, never. Like, never leave in the house, like, make sure you always see the But when he fails, yeah. Sorry guys, I couldn't stay alive long enough. That's it. Okay, I gotta turn the audio down. Okay, I, I think... Oh, damn it. That's... that's well, so much for taking point. A. Uh, we can take C, I'll go spawn there. Yeah, I'm running up. Oh boy, it's elevator tag. There's a couple guys coming in from the street, no idea. I'm gonna start getting in the elevators. You know what? I'm just gonna make my own social side. I'm gonna call it Tutor. People are gonna toot at each other. I died after getting in the elevator. It's like Twitter, but but less less radical left and more neutral. Wait, what's wrong with Twitter? Other than being, you know, full of Nazis. But you control them, so I guess that's a plus. Full of Nazis and full of radical left and anti French shit like that. But. The problem is, Twitter people? goes against Nazis, but okay. doesn't go against radical leftists. Like, if people say, fuck the white people, or kill all white people, nothing happens. It's black, but if you turn that around and write, kill all black, or fuck all black people... Yeah, I wonder why people. those two aren't equivalent. I mean, they are. No. They both are racist. Yeah. But they're not the same uh, thing, you realize, uh, and, right? And, I mean, unless you're white, because then you say fucking white people, you're Yeah, in, in terms of whether or not someone should be able to say something, I don't think uh, we should take into consideration the historical context 
you know, just, just because they have a historical context doesn't mean a racial comment should be justified or not. And that's kind of the argument that's given on Twitter and Facebook and shit when they don't, uh, you know, get rid of super racist BLM members and shit. Like, there's a lot of Black Lives Matter people that are just super fucking racist, like anti-white, but they give them a platform. Yeah, so I, don't, exactly. I don't care if you were oppressed before or not. You can't say that shit. I don't agree with that. I mean, the, the problem is... Irish people were they, they weren't even oppressed. Yeah, no. They were alive at that time. It's like, it's like yeah, right, saying... The there, yeah. It's like saying, Oh my god, I'm so oppressed because my grandmother was... Uh, married my grandfather and had to give up... Uh, uh, yeah, Dutch, I think there, uh, there is Dutch, something there called. to... Uh... You so, know, do we have all the points that have seen? Not in terms of free speech. I think free speech should just be universal no matter what. The problem is, free speech is that the state and it's not allowed to shut you down. People are not allowed to say or to stop you from saying something. You can still say, why the fuck are you saying that? Why right. would you say something like that? But they can't say, like, keep you from talking. They can't show over you. Right. They try to censor you. Yeah, I th like, I ultimately, I think you should be allowed to be racist. Like, it sounds horrible. Right? I mean, I, mean I, I would love... Uh, if you have a, a party that is fully racist and everyone knows it, no one who isn't racist is gonna vote for them. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's... And you have all the racists in this party. It's oh, basically, God. That's where you want every racist to go, because if you just ban this party like they did in Germany with NPD, yeah, something's yeah. gonna happen like they change to another party and another party's gonna be like like you do realize that we're talking in an American context here right like if you're well. mentioning if you're getting angry about Black Lives Matter protesters and you're talking about America and that, that sort of coalitional politics doesn't really work here because it turns out you only got two parties and if one of them goes full racist a lot of people still vote for them like mm -hmm. I can understand that that you know being attractive where you got a parliamentary system, but guess what, America don't. I mean... Uh, I mean... The problem is... The disunity. Like, like the, do you know the picture where they basically have two cartwheels turning, uh, turning perfectly, uh, which are both the Democrats and the Republicans, and then there's a knife labeled disunity just going into there and destroying the cartwheels. Because, yeah, what did I pick? Because, uh, and, uh, Weeps needs to help me, uh, fucking voice crack. Uh, needs to accept my phone. But, uh, if both, both parties work together, they can actually achieve something, but if they are just, this, this, this unity just spreads and the Democrats go like, oh, we need to ban all guns. No guns at all. That, that's just totally fucking crazy. That's just nuts. Even all guns, how the fuck are people that are going to defend themselves? Is kitchen knives? Well, yeah, that, that's it's a good thing. No one's trying to ban all guns in the American and, political system. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they are. But I mean, this isn't is Europe, you, don't you know. Need to ban all guns, you basically just need to do the same thing with guns every car. Fucking test people that they know and let them show they know how to handle and operate a gun. Because you, you can't just let anyone drive with a car. Well, if actually, no, I mean... If someone a car and runs someone else over, you are uh, at fault as well, because they could take your car. I mean, if they stole it, that's a different thing, but if your child takes a car and then runs over, enable. Why the fuck does a five-year-old get your car key? Same with guns, like make sure people know how to operate guns like I have a test or I have to make a test every two to three years but you make like uh, what's it called the thing that you need to be allowed to drive okay, the thing. yeah everyone's on the roof driver's place. license yeah basically I, I... just make a shooter's license and, and put on that which types of guns they're allowed to shoot or own uh, I know that sounds attractive and all, uh, again, because, I mean, you, you don't even you know, need Europe. to restrict the guns themselves, really. I, I'm actually kind of pissed off by the laws in Germany, because 
they're pretty fucking strict and pretty fucking ridiculous for some point. It's more about the fact that you need to restrict guns a bit, but not so much that actually, actually would like stop people from protecting more. Because in, in Germany I can still get like a, a pistol that doesn't really shoot anything. Like gas pistol. What? But in Germany you can't get a gas pistol, you just have you can literally buy one as soon as you're eighteen. And you can still hurt people a lot if you get too close, but Oh hey Tigo, you're uh you're the leader now. Squad leader. But Tigo can't hear you. What's your name and origin? Right, Tigo is it Oh, he muted himself. I'll just what's, use in game. What's your name and origin? Uh Tuesday Massacre. Just take out the night, uh no spaces. Like, you know, look, I, I get it if you're coming from Europe and complaining about their gun laws, but Americans it's it's quite unrestrictive mm. in comparison. Well what's more bad is like that and, you actually and as, take people into consideration. As much as, you know, licenses and stuff sound reasonable and such. Oh god. Um, Basically what I'm saying is part, of, part of the problem is in America, all the other people who are irresponsible with guns is why you kind of need them too. It's not ideal, but that's kind of how it is right now, and will be for a while. Uh, I don't want them to be restricted so that you can't easily get a gun. For example, like uh, uh, gas pistols. They're totally fine the way you get them, but I'd still like the state to just require Man, some kind of like check that you know how to use them, how to not hurt people the moment you, you use them. But it, I mean, that's the point of guns, but it's gas pistols. It's so well, yeah. Finally, we're taking Charlie. But what I'm for is basically just restricting the user. It's not that easy to get again. It's just walking into a bank and making a bank account. That's just ridiculous. You just, you should kind of just walk inside a gun store and uh, just buy a gun. I mean, there's people who pull their guns, they're loaded, and literally shot guns out in gun stores. Which is just fucking stupid because people are gonna aim their guns at you. And that's because they don't know how to operate a gun properly, how to not endanger themselves and everyone around them when using a gun. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of how things work right now. And that, uh, that's but... basically the part that needs to be, become better, that people don't... Uh, that people can't just buy a gun if they don't even know how to operate one, because, I mean, that's not how cars work. If, if you can't and you can't buy a car, but you're, you're not allowed to drive it if you don't... No, look, what you're talking about is the chicken and the egg problem. The problem is right now, yeah, lots of people who aren't going to be responsible with guns own them. Uh, but that means also the magical solution is that if you can't own guns to counter them, then you're in, well, you're going to be in danger. Yeah, that, that, that's not what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying take the guns from everyone. I'm just saying make sure that people know how to use guns properly. Educate them. Make, make sure that they won't go inside a gun store and pull their guns because that's just plain stupid. D don't, don't just pull your gun in a gun store. That, that's not how we do. It's like, hey, you can can you fix this side? Pointing the gun at them, the loaded gun. The, Very dumb. Like, oh it's man, like what happened to, to get you? Uh, he dropped from the squad. Oh fuck, there's simply no one playing gun laws. Oh, I, I don't want to play gun laws. No one's been playing gun master in BF4 forever. Oh god, did someone take down the building? Crap. I'm gonna miss that building. You need to accept my friend request so I can join you. 
two stick. Okay, yeah, here, let me uh, hit. Let me alt tab while the building goes down. And someone's gonna kill me. Okay, let's go origin. Order 66 Platypus accepted. Thanks. Uh, sometimes there are friends issues with Origin. I don't know if the join on me button will appear. Uh, mm. Okay, I don't see Tigo on the server. Did he get switched to the other team? And I'm about to die. Man, this rugby league game is fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I got through the I can't join you! That's fucking great. Okay, the join on me is not... Oh, server's full now. Uh, did it put you in queue? Nope. I can't join you at all. Like, literally, there's no choice to me. No option. Okay, uh, I can just leave the server and we can find something else. Uh, but Tigo's okay. not... Tigo's not back. Let me look for him one more time, see if he rejoined. Tigo? Okay, uh, no. Uh, I can just leave the server. Okay, hold on. And we can go find a new one that's not full. <laughs> 